In this video, I'll show you how to get started with using array functions in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. Let's head over to my other sheet. So to start, what is an array? An array is just simply a linked range of cells in a spreadsheet with some values. The smallest dimension of an array would be just either a column with two rows of data in it, something like this. So the dimension is essentially one by two or in a row with two columns of values. So maybe something like that. I'll just test with a two by three array. So I have an array here and let's just do a formula to this. I'll just add a certain value to the whole array. So a simple way to do this is type in the formula as if I was working with just a single cell. Add a hundred and now choose my array. I could just hit enter and Calc will figure out the solution for me. But when it comes to array formulas, we need to make sure to press the shortcut key, control shift and then enter. In that case, Calc knows that we're trying to apply the formula to an array and it automatically placed the values in the same dimension but starting at cell E7. When we look in the formula bar, it does show us it's an array formula because it's operating from a range of B7 through C9. Now I'll show you how can we edit this array formula. If I simply try to go to the formula and change it, I get an information pop-up and it says you cannot change only part of an array. This is because it's assuming I'm only trying to modify the formula for what I've selected, which was cell E7. So the way to do this, we have to select the whole array and then try to change the formula. To do this, we can press control and the forward slash. Automatically, Calc selected the array for me. Now I can go to the formula bar. And just to note, the forward slash is the same key on my keyboard as the question mark. Also, you could use the forward slash that's on the number pad on the keyboard, which is the divide symbol as well. So now I've selected the formula successfully, I could change my formula. Here I've changed it from plus to multiply. So now I get uh, information pop up again that tells me I cannot change only part of an array. The formula actually did not change for me. Well, the important part is to apply the change in my formula. I have to again use the control shift and enter as I did the first time in creating the formula. So let's try that again and see if it works. Now, instead of just pressing enter, I'll press control shift enter. There we go. So now the formula is accepted. Now I'll show you how we can copy the formula and apply it elsewhere in the sheet. So I'll select the array formula by pressing control forward slash. Now I can choose the formula bar and I'll just copy my formula now by pressing control C or I could right click and choose copy. Then I can press escape and then I'll click somewhere else to apply the array formula. Let's try it here. If I press control V to paste, it gives me this value error. So I just demonstrated it's not so easy to just paste. What we should do to paste is really either select the formula bar. I'll do paste here and I'll press control shift enter to apply. And there we go. Do you see a pattern when we want to apply the formula or apply a change to the formula? We need to press control shift and enter. It is a little bit difficult or annoying to have to remember that, but that's how we can do this in the spreadsheet. Now I'll show you how we can delete the array formula to clear some of the changes we made or to clear the data. So if we simply press delete, nothing happens or backspace. It just gives me an information box thinking I'm changing part of an array. So the way to select the whole array again is the control forward slash then I can press delete and now it's clear and I no longer have any array formulas in this cell range. So here I've put down two of the main shortcuts that I've used in this tutorial. The first one is to apply the formula using control shift and enter. Another one is to select the array formula by choosing the cell in the array and using the shortcut control forward slash. But also for array formulas, we could use different operators if we wanted to. 
I won't get into all this in this video, but I'll include a link in the description to the help page with a lot more information on using array formulas. If you have any questions, feel free to mention it in the comments below. If this video was helpful, I recommend you to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming in the future. Thank you very much for watching and as always, stay nifty.